Hey folks, this is Brad and this is part two of lab 4.5. So the two things that we got to do for this part are we basically want to write two custom blocks. One is we want to catch the first word in a list that starts with E. And then the second is to go ahead and take that letter E and replace it with any letter of our choosing and find the first word in the list. So as you can see, I've taken the liberty of writing uh, or just creating that custom function. Go ahead and drawing it up here with the search list. Um, since this is eWord, we don't need our second variable, but we will for the second script. Um, again, pretty much going to do the same thing as usual. We do that for i equals 1 to 10, and we're going to do that for the uh, length of search list. So we draw that right there, drop search list in. And then for each one of those, what we want to do is basically look at the first letter of the word. So what I'm going to do is drop an if statement in here. Again, if letter, and we're going to keep one of, and then of course, since we're looking at the item of a list, we're going to use item blank of list. We're going to replace item one with I, and then search list right here. We'll drag it down for both of them. So if letter one of item I of search list is equal to E, I'm going to place that right there drag this out, replace the first item in the list, and then snap that back in place. So if letter one of item item I, which is gonna be uh, whichever one we're lurking through is equal to E, we want to go ahead and report it. So again, we're gonna say item I of search list, duplicate that for two seconds, um, and then we're gonna go ahead and stop this script. So I go to control and I find my stop button right here and we're gonna drop it down. We're gonna say, uh, stop this block. So that'll just stop the single block that we're working on. That way the whole script doesn't crash, just in case we wanna use this in the future in uh, any of our future scripts. So if no such word exists, we just wanna report a blank. So I'm gonna take this, or actually I'm just gonna report it like it is and report nothing, right? So we're gonna go ahead and click okay. And again, I'm gonna drag this out so that I have it. So we go to variables, find this custom block, first E word right here. I'm gonna duplicate this, get rid of you. Um, I'm gonna create a new variable called word list. And it should create, go ahead and instantiate word list to let's say, um, let's go with Brad. Um, brother, and then um, let's go with Ewok will be our word that we're looking for. So I go ahead and click out drag word list to be the argument and as you can see it'll report ewok now of course if i list out bowling instead we report nothing so the next one the bonus is basically taking that first e word that we just created and adapting it so that we can do a uh, similar search except for any word so i'm going to go ahead and duplicate all i have right there and i'm going to make a block first or what do we want to first word that starts with and go ahead and click enter and i'm going to do the same thing as before so i want to have one which is called search list i want to have one variable called search list and then i want to have variable called letter so i'm going to click ok and this is actually pretty simple i take this and go ahead and put that right there drag this up um, search list stays the same but instead of that letter being E, I'm just going to drag down and have letter there instead. So I click OK, and I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this, drag first E word out, and instead I want to have first word that starts with. So the the uh, variable that I want is word list, and the letter I want in this case, I'm going to say S. And uh, we're going to go with capital S for this, and I'm going to put sister here instead. So control A, sister. And if I go ahead and click, you can see it reports sister. If I change that back to bowling, it will report nothing. And that is how you complete lab 4.5.